Once again, it's the crown of the tennis year, and all roads lead to Wimbledon. The centre court's new balcony is decked with flowers, and what's more, the weather's fine for the opening day at least. The stars are arriving. Australia's Rex Hartwig is here, and fellow countryman Lewis Hode with his newly married wife, Jennifer. And here's Tony Trabert, one of the US favourites. Another newlywed, Little Mo Connolly, undefeated champion with husband Norman Brinker. She's here to write, not to play. And who does this belong to? Mrs. Vic Satius with her brilliant husband. Traditionally, the reigning men's champion opens on the centre court. Jaroslav Drobny, playing against Arb Busser of Switzerland, once again confounds the critics who say this time he really must be past it. In no time at all, he masters the Swiss attack and takes the first two sets 6-3, 6-1. Now it's 5-2 in the third, and match point. Shot. So tennis's Peter Pan goes on to the next round, apparently in fighting trim. And still they come, the ordinary folk and the famous. Danny Kay slips by, strictly off duty for once, hiding beneath his hat. And talking of hiding beneath hats, some hats are built for it and others are not. And some of us came here to watch tennis, so here's Vixatius beating Britain's A.J. Clayton, 6-3, six 6-love, six 6-love. Six but the game of the day is between Sweden's Davidson and America's Richardson. It's 7-6 in the fifth grueling set. Davidson at the far end. And the Swede has won, but he's had to earn his victory the hard way. Who will reach the final? An Australian? An American? A dark horse? Your guess is as good as ours.